morning, Manandal. Myself, Srivani. I'm working as an assistant professor in the department of ECE in Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Dundigal. So, in the today's class, uh, today's lab, we are going to learn the stable multi vibrator using triplified timer. So, let us go for the circuit diagram. Then, based upon that, we will observe input and output signals of a stable multi vibrator. So, here is the circuit diagram. Now, we are going to design this a stable multi vibrator. So, as we know that the functional diagram of uh, this IC triple five timer, basically it consisting of uh, 8 pins. So, in that, the pin 1 is uh, basically grounded. So, with the wire, one small wire, I have connected this pin 1 to the ground. And uh, with the help of this uh, point 0 0.01 microfarad capacitor, I have start, uh, shorted between 1 and pin 5. So, like this, this is the capacitor which is connected between pin 1 and pin 5. And pin four and uh, sorry, pin four and pin eight are internally shorted. That's why with the wire I have shorted pin four and eight. So, but the combination of these two, either a uh, point four, uh, pin four or else pin eight, we need to give the power supply voltage as plus twelve volts positive. So that's why here from this plus twelve volts, I have given this uh, positive terminal to the pin eight which is already shorted between four, pin 4 and pin 8. Next pin, uh, this 0 volts is connected to the ground on this breadboard. Next is uh, another, uh, along with this uh, 0 0.01 microfarad capacitor, we will have another uh, 3 components as here, 2 resistors and 1 capacitor. So, here is the 0 0.1 capacitor which is connected between either pin 2 or else pin 6. Why? Because pin 2 and 6 are basically shorted. So, for that combination I have given here 0 0.1 microfarad capacitor. Next I have connected here 2 resistors and uh, first resistor that is 10 kilo ohm resistor which is connected between pin 8 and pin 7. Next one more uh, cap, uh, resistor is uh, connected that is between pin 6 and 7. So, this is the internal circuit diagram for this uh, a stable multi vibrator. So, if you switch on this one, hit the. So, what we need to observe is the other name for this a stable multi vibrator is called as square wave generator. So, as we know that a stable multi vibrator does not require any external triggering means by connecting the CRO probe to the pin third. Why? Because at pin three, we are going to collect the output using this triple five timer. So, using this uh, CRO probes, uh, channel 1 and channel 2, I have connected one of this is connected to the pin 3 to calculate the output of the uh, stable multi vibrator. So, using here uh, from this uh, digital CRO, I have used here uh, two channels, one is for uh, output purpose and one more is for the capacitance output purpose. So, in the channel 1, I am going to observe the output at pin 3. So, positive of that is connected to the channel 1 is connected to pin 3 and the negative is connected to ground. In the similar way, I have used here channel 2 also in order to observe the voltage across the capacitor. So, for that the channel 2 uh, positive terminal is connected to the pin 6 which is connected already here uh, capacitor. So, across this capacitor we are going to calculate the charging and discharging periods of this capacitor. So, based upon that we just connect this positive of this channel 2 to the pin 6 and negative to the ground. So, this is the ground connection. So, basically from the circuit diagram we have connected here 5 ground connections. So, now here in the digital CRO, see in the channel 1 firstly, so means channel 1 is connected here at the pin 3. So, output of this is a stable multi vibrator looks like basically square wave type. But here according to the charging and discharging connections depending upon this capacitor, we will be getting rectangular type waveform. So, based upon that, then channel 2 is also connected to the, channel 2 positive is connected to pin 6. So, there we are going to get the voltage across the capacitor during this positive interval, the capacitor is going to charge and during the negative interval of this uh, a rectangular waveform, the capacitor is going to discharge. So, this is the way the output of a stable multi vibrator as square wave in general and voltage across the capacitor is looks like 
charging and discharging periods waveforms are obtained so if you observe here this is the output at pin 3 and if you observe in the channel 2 this is the voltage across the capacitor see charging and discharging waveform so based upon this we are going to calculate pulse width of the stable multi vibrator from the duty cycles also we are going to calculate so as the name itself resembles us that a stable multi vibrator basically it generates square wave generator hence the other name for a stable multi vibrator is square wave generator depending upon the duty cycle also we can uh, define the stable multi vibrator as square wave generator why because this in this uh, stable multi vibrator we will be calculating the duty cycle as we know that the definition of this duty cycle is T on by T on plus T off where T on plus T off gives us total time period of the uh, stable multi vibrator that is square wave output so if if you uh, if that circuit will generate exactly 50% of the duty cycle then the waveform exactly looks like square wave type thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates